there was a a grocery supermarket man someplace upstate New York who began uh, saying that he wouldn't handle merchandise that was advertised by communists and uh, was specific about naming names and some advertisers became very nervous. The chairman of General Foods, Claire Francis, uh, called me one day and said he really wanted to sit down and talk with me about this. And we had the Goldbergs and, and a couple of other programs on for General Foods. And uh, he said that if certain people had were continued on that program, he would withdraw General Foods advertising from CBS. And a number of other advertisers took similar views. <clears throat> uh, the FBI was making private comments to us about some of the people. Uh, we didn't know what the facts were. We had no way of knowing what the facts were. Uh, NBC was in the same boat, but we had more popular programs and somehow uh, we had more people who were on the so-called blacklist. At about that time, uh, it got so complicated and so difficult that we asked employees to sign a loyalty oath. Uh, and uh, I don't recall anybody refusing to sign the, 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 the loyalty oath. Uh, people in news signed it, Ed Murrow signed it. Ed Murrow, I think at that time, was on the CBS board and he supported it. Uh, none of us was happy, but uh, some people did not get on the air uh, who were at the head of the list, and uh, others we rode out. Uh, it was a troublesome period. If you could rewrite the history, maybe I learned enough to to have taken a different course, but uh, we were all suffering from the same problem. I say all, I mean everybody in network radio, or in network broadcasting was. 